Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make a shadow box using brand new Crafters Companion Shadow Box die. It has different designs that you can create with it, but I will be embellishing it with foil quill. So you can make something like this. Super fun project and easy to make. And here we have the foil quill. Or you can make something like this. Or even something like this. Well, if you're ready, let's begin. Okay, let's begin. So, we're gonna be working with six inch today. That means six inch opening is gonna be in the middle, but all the way outside is gonna be eight inches. So, you need is cardstock, and uh, you need the 65 weight. This one works the best. I tried with different ones, and uh, the thin one almost cut through, and the thick one was pretty thick. It was okay, but I felt it was quite thick. So I got two sheets of paper and just cut it in half. And uh, let's put it through the machine. To show you all the designs, I will put on each side of the shadow box different designs so you can see how they all look. But most likely you would use one for all sides or none for, you know, all sides. You would want it plain and simple. But just to show you guys, I want to see all the designs myself. So let's see how they're going to turn out. So you would need the whole piece. And I'm going to start with this one. Alrighty, so... So your sandwich will be on the Gemini. This is a full size one. Is the purple, the base plate, the plastic shim, the magnetic shim or sheet. Then you will need your die. And uh, we will include this uh, piece, as I said. And you need to put this one, if you want it on the front, closer to this thicker part. Let's see. Then we need one of our pieces of cardstock. And then place it in. And because we have intricate design here, we're gonna use a metal shim. But if we would cut without that intricate piece, you would not need this piece. So, got our sandwich. Let's put it through. Let's see. Alrighty. So, I will take all these pieces out so you'll be able to see the design of it but let's put the other two through we'll put four, all four but all three will have the design and the fourth one I want to do it with foil quill to see if I can actually match this part. This one's not visible yet, but I will clean it up. Let's see. And then the last one, I will go and do it without any of them that's because I want to do it with foil quill
Alrighty. So, this is what it looks like. It has all the score lines in here. And uh, either a design or no design. So let me take those pieces out and I will be right back. Alrighty, so I took all the little pieces out and these are the designs. They all very pretty. But in the shadow box to show off this design, we will cut the outer part. They are just slightly bigger than the design and it will cover the part on the back and you will be able to see um, a really nice design and with a gold accent. So, all we put all three because we're doing it just on three sides. Place your um, cardstock that you want. And uh, because we're not doing anything intricate, I am not gonna be using the metal shim. So just place the plastic, the clear one on top. So, now we're all done with Gemini and I'm gonna pull out my Cricut and we're gonna try to write with Quill Quill on this part. Alrighty, so while our Quill Quill heats up, uh, I placed this piece that we don't have any cutouts on the, onto the mat. So now we will need to snap the mat to make sure we can, uh, I'm just making sure the mat goes in here. That's why I have to go high. Okay, so I snapped the mat. I changed it from black to yellow so I can see exactly where to place it. And we need to place it in this second row. Let's see. I think we're in. So let's continue. And while we do that, I'm gonna put the foil. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Alrighty, let's see if I guessed it right. fits right in there. Awesome. Let's see. Let's take it off. So now, before we put the shadow box together, we need to glue these things behind the designs while it's all flat. So let me prepare that and I will be right back. Okay, let's put these glitter pieces behind the designs so it shows off better. And then we can put the shadow box together. I'm gonna use my Anna Griffin Zyron 
tape runner, but you can use any glue that you want. And I'm just gonna run my Xyron just over the design. And on the ends of these. I'm using this one because it sticks really fast at the moment, but you can use any glue that you may have. Okay, we're done with this and now we just fold uh, these in. Okay, so now we're gonna put it together. So this one's gonna be my uh, right one, so I'm gonna keep it here. So all you need is to spread them out. So you will need to flip them over with the thicker part uh, to the center, then next one with the thicker part to the center, then this one with the thicker part, and this one with the thicker part. So each will have the tabs on top and meeting note tabs so let me just move these away for now um, so what we have to do is i would i fold this bigger part with the tab down here just fold it and uh, as you can see uh you need to we need to put glue on this tab and you will see how it gonna goes like a puzzle. So let me put the glue on this. Don't skimp on this part because this will be your front. It looks like the back now, but it's gonna be your front. So, so then you put it together like this. There's gonna be a little overlap with the tab, but it's totally fine. Just bend it and that's it. And let's go to another one. Again, we're putting glue on this tab that has the design at the moment. So I fold the thicker part, thicker end, and I put this thicker end closer and it looks, again, as a, it looks like a puzzle, it fits right in. Alrighty. And then the one more part. It looks a little confusing, but once you do it once, at least once, you'll say, oh, that's pretty easy. When you do it twice, you'll think of you as a pro, so just need a couple of times. Again, like a puzzle. And try to do it as neat as you can, because that will be your front. If you have a different glue, then you might not need to flip it over much, but this one sticks right away, so for the video it works perfectly. So again, 
Like a puzzle. Stick it in. So now you have a base. And as you can see, my corners are really nice in here. And another rule, do not glue anything I had or like, oh, I'm just gonna glue all these parts together and then go on. Don't, just go one part at a time. So I will be using this barbecue skewer and this safety pin as a little helpers. You can use anything you want, but you will see what is it for. So let's start. So let's start with this one. We need to put glue on this part, on this part, and on this part. Alrighty, so we we'll put it on this smaller end and on two tabs that's over here. Now we need to meet this thicker end. And try to be as precise as you can uh, because if you don't um, it will turn out crooked but if you have more time with your glue you can reposition it nicely right now this one sticks pretty good and pretty fast so here goes my barbecue skewer I just put it in and I just making sure my this part is just pushing against it making sure it sticks has a good stick now since we have already one thing done um oops forgot to put the glue on this tab Alrighty. i like to put this inner tab okay glue it in but you can you can do that after but uh, that's how I like it so now we'll be gluing this part while well, we still can we still can reach it with our finger do a good press because this is your outside and you will see this corner alrighty so now I'm going to again put all the glues on every tab. So now we will again go in and fold this thinner part to the thicker part. Yeah, our barbecue skewer. And now I'm gonna push with my barbecue skewer on this tab over there. So now we'll have a good corner. Now that sticks good. I'm going to the corner. Alrighty. And again, I like to put to glue this little tab right on the line. Here. The inner part. Now we're gonna glue the outer part. That's what we do, we just go in circle and glue everything together. And again.
And then at the end, you will end with this one. So I'm gonna glue the little guy right now. So again, the outer part. Alrighty, last tabs. Alrighty, so let's put the outer part. In. All right. Let's and all the tabs go in. So where do you say the safety pin comes in? It holds its shape this way, anyways, but. This tab is not, and this tab is not glued in. So this would be too thick to go in under. Even a toothpick will be too thick to go in there. But the safety pin, as long as it's hard and not flimsy, will go in, in there pretty nicely. And then you can use it to push up on the end. And uh, it's gonna get nice and secure. Same thing here. If you're gonna be placing it on top of something, because this is the back, you'll be placing it, let's say, on top of the paper, cardstock, canvas. Um, you won't see this and you don't even have to do it, but you know, if you wanna use it as a standalone. So, this is the back, and here is the reveal. It stands on its own, it's very pretty. Coil, coil looks really nice and these look really nice so all you need to do is put a backing on it so let's see I already prepared just white cardstock uh, because it's 8 by 8 you can just you know, stick it on so let me get some glue over here You don't have to go over this part, but I'm gonna create something nice and I'll show you what it is. But this is how it looks. Okay, so here is other ideas that I've done. I used um, this foil paper and you don't need anything else, just regular foil paper. You can use it just glitter paper and it looks really nice. Imagine putting some acetate on here and so your project will look like it's floating. And then here's the other one I did. As I did just um, cut out. So to get this look, you need to grab one of those and one of those and then when you place it uh, together it will cut the whole piece and you will get this piece so you can glue on top of it to get this look you just need to place this thing and it will cut this piece out and as you seen to get the look that it's cut in inside you just put this thing without this piece because this will cut out all the way so um so when you look at the die 
you do the design closer to the thicker part, this would be the top. You can place another one of those in the middle over here. That would mean you would have, you will have another design over here. You can mix and match. You can, you know, do the same design. Um, it's totally up to you. So um, it's a really nice way to add an accent color like if you're doing a baby shower theme you can do blue pink yellow whatever um, I'm just doing a gold theme at the moment so I really like it and I guess you can snap to mat in Cricut design space and match whatever you need to write and you can use it on the shadow box imagine if you do invitations or something else and um, you put stuff inside and you can personalize it with whatever you want like wedding bells or anything um, so what happens if you put two boxes together let me do a little quick thing so you could see something really fun. Alrighty. Let me see. You can make like a box and uh, all you need is a little bit of ribbon or something. So if you have some ribbon, glue it in here or under the paper with both sides and then you can tie it up. But look what can be done. You open it up and you can have two pictures together and um, just add a bow or something on top. I haven't finished it all the way, but um, I will finish it and uh, show it to you. So you can make two of them together and make a nice, like a picture frames. You can make it as an invitation. You can put your words in here and the picture here and it's gonna look amazing and nobody's gonna have an invitation this good. Um, so there is so many varieties you can make out of it. Um, you just need your imagination. Um, so I hope you liked it and uh, and I like how foil quill turned out. You can most definitely embellish it with quail quill so pretty cool i love it well that's it so these are the boxes that you can make out of these dies and these ones are just made out of the six inch but you can interchange them or use them together to have either six inch square or 8 inch square or a 6 by 8 rectangle well if you like the video please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe share across the social media and your friends and i will see you in the next video